three countries meet on top of a mountain. One of the highest located places in all of West Africa. This journey will not only bring us to an interesting junction, but will take us to the heart of West Africa. Join the motorcycle expedition from a mining town in Liberia to the top of Nimba Mountain, where Liberia, Guinea and Côte d'Ivoire meet. What happened in the last episode? From Liberia's capital Monrovia, we were heading to the Nimba mountain range and planned to access the mountains from a village called Yekepa. Little did we know that it's a mining town that is basically owned by an Indian mining company, including gated roads when entering the area. Hello, Yekepa, here we are. This in front of me, I think, is the famous Alvino Hotel. And it's famous because it's the only hotel and actually the only place in this whole mining area where tourists are allowed to stay. And the guys at the checkpoints told us that it's mostly visited by the visitors of the miners and um, actually not so many tourists come here. We arrived in Yekepa now and um, it's all owned by a steel company more or less and um, the locals are, are all running around in winter clothes because it's like 25 degrees here which is the coldest place we have been in a weeks. In the evening we left our hotel to find the canteen for the workers of the mines, the only place to eat as a foreigner in town. After a 30 minutes walk around the gated container homes of the miners, we found a canteen. But this gentleman refused to let us eat in the African canteen because he thought the food would be too spicy for us. So he sent us to the European canteen on the other side of town. Another 30 minutes and a walk in the pitch black dark later, we found the second canteen. We learned our lesson. The next morning we chose the right way immediately and returned to our beloved canteen for a power breakfast to be ready for our expedition to the mountains. So I think I have not been in a brighter place in the last weeks. It's very idyllic. There's still a Christmas tree. We will be on a mission soon because we heard that you can drive on Mount Nimba, which is one of the highest mountains around in the area. And you can see from here to Côte d'Ivoire and um, to Guinea, but we don't know how to get there. Before starting on our little expedition, we had to get some petrol and try to find the rangers of the National Forest to accompany us. We found two ranges of the nature reserve Mount Nimba. We probably could have found the way alone and you probably could skip the step of finding these ranges. I think it's just not the right thing to do. Especially as travelers should really support the preservation and maintenance of nature. So we have been riding up this track that goes to Mount Nimba that you can see behind me. Um, it was a lot of fun but there are plants everywhere. So we rode through this beautiful area um, that you well can see behind me. It looks super spectacular. And um, yeah, we're following these two guys. 
and they are showing us around. I guess this is what you call an off-road motorcycle paradise. Former mining caused the shape of the top of the mountain range. The steps and rugged appearance is not natural. Liberia, Guinea and Côte d'Ivoire meet on Mount Nimba and it's a UNESCO World Heritage. Since 1982 listed as a World Heritage in danger due to the massive mining of top quality iron ore. Mount Nimba rises abruptly to an altitude of 1,752 meters. Over 500 new animal species have been discovered in the Mount Nimba Nature Reserve. To reach the mountain, a tiring multi-day driving on unpaved roads across the rainforest is required in all three countries. This isolation is the main reason for the low numbers of annual visitors despite Nimba's extraordinary landscape and wildlife that is considered to be unique on the African continent. Now we're on the next mission because we already found the top of Mount Nimba. Now we want to find an old steel factory that's supposed to be somewhere here in the mountains, but there are different routes and we don't know which to take. On the way to the abandoned steel factory, we lost the rangers because their motorcycle refused to climb up the steep roads. So we were all by ourselves exploring the remote tracks and deciding which of them to take. Only some ruins covered by grass were left of the old factory we were looking for. But we found a lake instead. So road number one took us to nowhere. But, at least, to a very nice view. Wow, like, seriously. Hey, look who's here. It's our rangers, I guess they fix their bikes. Yeah. Little problem. No problem, we have to. We went everywhere. We went up here, yeah. we went down there. Yeah. yeah. It was beautiful. Oh, okay. What? He, he left me up? Oh, I hope he didn't fall. I don't hear his motorcycle. Yeah. Very strange. Meanwhile, my travel partner dropped his motorcycle behind me and one of the rangers went to look for him. No video proof of this available though. So he might tell you that this actually never happened. On the way back to the village, the rangers showed us part of their work, including picking up the trash of the tourists and workers on the mountains and reusing it in a sustainable way. And they fill them again with water from the spring so you can drink it. I guess that is very eco-friendly. Last day in Liberia, today we're off to Ivory Coast. Of course, there were some more checkpoints on the way to the border. And the unwritten law about border roads kicked in as hard as never before. Hey, Bill, I'm in the mood for a switch up. 
I hit the function, hit the rose right till I hiccup. I hit the stage and leave with money that's a stick up. She picks a perfect. We're on our way now to Ivory Coast, and there's this unwritten rule that border roads always have to be the worst roads. You can see this nice little potholes behind me that we have to deal with. And then you think it's the toughest roads you have ever ridden. And the locals just casually overtake you with three up or two up. Isn't that bananas? Liberia so far so good, that was it, we are at the border and here behind me you can see the way to Cote d'Ivoire. This is immigration of Liberia? Yes, this is the Liberia border authority. But then we are unfortunately leaving Liberia. Oh well, that's, uh, that's, no, that's part of the journey. Yeah, we had a very nice time. It was so nice. Yes. <laughs> okay, you come down with your passports. Wow. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the journey to these precious places in Liberia as much as I did. The next episode will take us to Côte d'Ivoire, where we visited majestic cathedrals and churches, had to deal with an injury and with our rundown motorcycles. Give me a thumbs up if you want to continue this trip with me and leave a comment. And subscribe so more people can find this channel and join the journey.